So overall, let's see. I cannot wait. So what's divided by six? It's all of my friends, they have better phones than me, but the iPhone 8 Plus is amazing value. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to give away the end, but it might be good value. might not be. So, here's how this will work. I'm going to put up a tally, you know. And then if, if like, any of the categories that you want or the average score low is between 0 and 1, definitely don't get it. 1 to 2, probably don't get it. 2 to 3. It's okay. Maybe get it. So, if it's between 3 to 4, it's good. Maybe get it. 4 to 5, probably get it. If 5 and above, definitely get it. So, let's begin. Oh, before we begin, this is Gavin here from Gavin's I Watch World. If you could, which you know you can, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and let's get right into this. First category, let's talk about the camera. Great. I'll... I'll give that, I don't know, but you know, 4K, 60 frames per second, that's what I'm filming in right now. My YouTube video is capped at 720p, and, you know, in darker, non-good lighting videos, <coughs> all videos, you know, you'll get a bit of grain. So, I will give that a 3.5, 3.5 out of 5. All right. Next is the durability. Now, the durability, I've dropped this a bit. And, you know, there's a little scuffs on the aluminum. But otherwise, I'll give this a 4. Next is the audio quality, which I will also give a 4. But, you know, usually I won't use my phone speakers. I'll either use my AirPods Pro, my headphones... My phone doesn't have headphone a jack. Sorry, I forgot to say headphone jack in the video, but I'm saying it now. This is very awkward. My headphones. But yeah, usually I'll just use my AirPods. So overall, we're we're talking about fours here. Okay, now next is the display. Now the display is amazing. I would call it a 4 out of 5, you know, it's LCD, yeah, but it's a good LCD, you know, you get all the force touch responses, uh, and, you know, it, it's amazing, so we'll call that 4 out of 5. Alright, next is the battery life, which I, let's give this a 3, because 3, I mean, the battery life, it's, it's okay, it's not the best, so... Yeah, we'll just call it three. And also, the reason why it's not the best, my phone battery life or battery health dropped at to 79%. So, gotta get it replaced soon. But we'll just leave it at three out of five. Okay, last but not least, we have how does it fit in with the ecosystem? I'll give that an easy 4.5 out of five. And why 4.5? You see, the reason why 4.5 um, and not 5 is because it works with everything except precision finding on the AirTag. Yes, it looks mint. Look, look at that glory. And I don't know if you could see it, if it was out of focus. Can't really tell. Um, uh, look! I don't know if you can see. But anyways, you can't use the precision finding feature, which... That kind of made me want to upgrade. So, overall, let's see. I cannot wait. So, 23. What's 23? Divided by 6. It's 3.8. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, you should maybe get this. You should maybe get this. I don't know. But yeah, it's a great value phone. So basically, I thought, you know, zero, between 0 to 1, terrible. Um, You know, 1 to 2, bad. 2 to 3, you know, okay. 3 to 4, good. 4 to 5, great. 5 and above, 
excellent. So we ended up with 3.8, so it's a good phone. Or if you run up to 4, which you can, it's a great phone, honestly. We'll just call it that. So guys, thank y'all for watching. This is Gavin here from Gavin's iOS World, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace!